Hi, okay, so now we found Ian. Um, Ian, can you tell us a bit about this game? Uh, yep, this is uh, Combat Air Patrol 2, which is a, a game uh, that we've been working on for about three or four years now. And uh, uh, basically it's a fly simulator, as you can see, and um, it's set on a specific part of uh, the Strait of Hormuz, which is uh, sort of the Middle East area that we're all familiar about. Um, and basically, you operate as a, um, a US military pilot and you uh, fly and do various missions throughout the game. Um, it's got an open world format, so basically you can go in and take part in any mission that you want to at any point. Um, but also, you can uh, command your fleet of ships and all that kind of thing using a mission planner. Uh, and it affects the outcome of the game, so based on those actions, you know, you can affect... You play the game in many different ways, basically, so that's the main gist of it. Awesome. So are these based on real-world scenarios, or are these, like, taken, inspired by real-world scenarios? Uh, well, basically, it's... We've done a lot of research on the area, so we've taken actual terrain data from the region, and it's recreated, like, all the mountains and all that, so that's all exactly like it is in real life. Um, and basically we build the missions around that so we've taken certain like air bases and enemy areas put them into the game exactly like they are in the real world but we've made all our own missions so they're all fantasy missions but based around what's actually there so it's a bit of half and half really yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, what's your role within the game uh, well I'm the artist so um, it's the main guy uh, he's programmer this is um, Number two of the game, because he wrote the original way back on the Amiga about 20 odd years ago. Um, so, yeah, it's been a long time developing. <laughs> Not quite, but um, no, I, I've, I came on board to help out with the art and stuff, and I've worked on the, uh, the Harrier itself and uh, some of the models in the game, and so I helped him out with some of the art direction and all that kind of stuff. So, it's been a real pleasure to work on it, and we're nearly there. We're nearly, we're very close to releasing now, so. Oh, that's fantastic. So, like, from the art side, which part of the game are you probably most proud of? Uh, just basically, the, the obviously, because I'm the artist, it's the visual look and feel of it. We've had a lot of um, uh, positive, like, feedback about that and um, sort of one of the main selling points. But it's also, there's a, you know, a lot of gameplay behind it as well. It's not just about the, the, the graphics. Um, and there's lots of flight and simulator enthusiasts out there that are really sort of eager to get their hands on it because they like you know realism so that's what we've really focused on like other games and um, we've also tried to fill a gap in the flight simulator market where there tends to be two camps you get the very ultra realistic simulators and then you get the arcade style there's not a lot in the middle and that's where we're aiming for because there's a lot of people also aiming for that they want realism but not to have to like get a manual out and read at the same time so Things like the cockpits, um, we've got a large selection of controls and we've got all like the joysticks and buttons working and all that kind of stuff. But it's not every single button, you know. Some flight sims you can literally do every single switch, but we didn't want to get to that depth. We want to put more into the actual like, you know, front of the game. So make it more accessible for people while keeping the realism as well. Oh, that's fantastic. So tell me a little bit about publishing, maybe release. Well, We've got we've been Steam greenlit um, last year. We we got greenlit in about 11 days. So um, we've been working hard to take it up to a, an even bigger level than we had back then. That was about a year ago. Um, and so we're initially going to release on like a Steam platform, and hopefully it'll do as well as you know we did on like the greenlight process. Um, and from there, we we don't know. We'll just see what options there are. So no firm plans on publishing in shops or all that kind of thing but it's just going to be a case to see what happens but it's going to be very much steam straight away and we'll just handle that at first well, that's fantastic so anybody that sees the game behind me go to steam which operating systems are currently uh, are they going to be able to it's play it on just on pc at the moment but we will be going on to like mac linux and any other platform once we release and see how well it does basically that's fantastic right cheers in Thanks ever so much for your time. No worries, thank you very much.